It's Mama Cass. Some people think she's corny, but we think she's wonderful. And we're playing her music because we're doing something that's uh, kind of a corn dish today. It is On cavalcade of food. What is it? <laughs> we're doing pan-fried corn today. So here in Michigan, we grow some of the sweetest, most succulent corn, I think, anywhere. Um, it, it is corn time. Corn it is. season. The, the harvest has begun, and we're going to be eating corn by the galore for the next month or so. I've got eight cobs of corn here. I'm actually using a bunt pan, bunt cake pan. That's clever. That's and this uh, is my little corn catcher, I call it. And look how it just fits right on there. You know, we love to eat corn on the cob, but we're going to do fried corn in a pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish getting this corn off of this cob here. And then we're going to come back, see if we can squeeze a little of the corn milk which is this wonderful white liquid, you can see it on the knife, out of these. And then we're going to get this corn fried up. So we're making pan-fried corn, listening to music that some might find corny. But we Mama's love, big ones. Yeah, Mama's big ones. And Mama Cass Elliot. So we'll be back in just a few and start getting everything together. And this okay? wonderful side dish on pan cavalcade of corn. food. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm going back through our uh, cobs here, and I'm just taking the back of a regular knife. Like a butter knife. Yep. And I'm just kind of... Getting the leftover? Yeah, just working through, and you'll see this. That's kind of, uh, is that what they call the milk? Yep. And it so just helps all the corn pull it flavor out. Is. Very concentrated corn flavor also will provide sort of some of the, the glue to make it a little, seem like it's a little creamy. So it's creamy, but not fatty. Right, it's not cream corn, which is something else altogether. This is going to just be fried corn, but you want to get that, that good corny goodness. Okay, so flavor. there we go. That's what we've yielded from eight ears of corn. More or less depending on the size of the corn. Our corn's a little small this year. I think it's because we haven't had as much rain, but it's still sweet as sugar. All right, I'm gonna get cleaned up. We're gonna get this in the pan and uh, with some other ingredients. We'll start the next phase of our pan fried corn. Pan fried corn, absolutely. Oh, we've, we are ready to start frying up our corn. Um, I've got like Oh, two to three tablespoons of just vegetable oil in our skillet here. We're going to take our corn. You hear that? Oh, I'm yeah. Put that corn in there. I want to get Sizzling. all that milk. I want to get all that good stuff. So that that's the collected. sizzle of the oil meeting the milky, liquidy yeah. corn. Whatness. So, get all that in. Okay. You may notice the uh, music coming from the window because we have a, a portable turntable right outside playing Mama Cass. You like to have music on the deck? Yeah. So, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of saute, for lack of a better word, this corn. Uh, until it just starts to turn kind of toasty brown. It's probably going to take about five or ten minutes. In the meantime, here's what I've got. I've got some flour. I've got some sugar. I've got some salt and pepper. We're going to add that after the corn has browned. And then uh, we'll add a little liquid to this, probably just a little water, and you're already starting to smell all the kind of released, can you smell the corn? It smells like corn. It smells like really intense corn flavor. flavor. Um, and again, it's not going to be a creamy corn, but it's going to almost have a glaze to it. Um, and that's from the corn milk and the moisture that's in the corn and the flour which will you know kind of you know we use flours to write thicken things up and stuff like that so 
anyways oh I can smell it now yeah it smells like um, like when you're boiling corn and you get that delicious like smell from the water yes like the steam almost like a sweetness yeah, yeah. oh okay. that's that's gonna be good so we'll be back oh I wish you could smell it so you can see the corn is sort of browning a little bit mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna do a couple things here we're gonna take our flour sugar salt and pepper okay and Give a little hand mix. Yeah, I give it a little mix. We're gonna kind of sprinkle that in the pan. And then, this is optional. We like to turn up the heat a little bit. So we've got some red um, cherry peppers. They're on, they are hot. We're gonna add those. You could add um, a sweet bell pepper if you wanted to, or you could add nothing. But we're gonna put those peppers in here. Now what I want to do is whenever you put something with raw flour, dry ingredients like yeah, that, you want to, especially the flour, you want to cook that through. Um, you want, you don't want any of that raw flour taste. So we're gonna kind of mix this in here. I've got the heat on sort of medium low. It's starting to take on a nice smell of um, almost like a. Roasted corn. Roasted, exactly, yes. Okay. Now, you've got a lot of corn little goodies to find at the bottom of the pan. Somewhere I've got some water. Here we go, thank you, Ralph. I got a half a cup of water here. We're gonna put that in. And let's get all this sort of lubricated. And that'll get the, um, like when you're making rice you add water and it creates that I don't know what they call it but there's like the stuff that's cooking at the bottom yeah the starch kind of loosens that up we're gonna the water will evaporate here uh, won't take too long but we're gonna we're gonna let this continue to cook this is a perfect skillet for making this pan fried corn and in case you didn't notice before that bundt cake pan I'm getting one of those because I've never seen anybody use a bundt cake pan to to uh, what do you call it? Clean the corn or uh, yeah, it's my that's my um, cob cradle or what did I? I can't even remember what I called it. But anyways, yeah, that's if you if you if you're not a baker, and you don't have a bundt cake pan. Get it if you're a corn lover because yeah. that come in handy. Angel food or a tube pan will work as well. Same way. Good to know. But all right, we're gonna let this cook. You can see it's starting to brown up. Not only that, but you see it's kind of getting a almost a glaze on the corn yeah so we're almost there we're getting there just a few more minutes okay we'll okay. be right back okay I just off camera I put in um, the water we had put in last time which was a half a cup had evaporated and I wanted to still make it a little looser and so I put in another quarter cup of water and I'm just stirring it around here Continuing and, the, the saute. Yep, yeah, and you can see it's the water's all but evaporated. And I'm pretty happy with how that looks. You know, I we want the corn to remain crunchy. That's what's so great about eating corn on the cob is the texture of the corn, that firmness. So I'm gonna shut the heat off here. I've got two tablespoons of unsalted butter. That's the last thing. We are gonna, you can see that butter is just melting from the heat of the corn and that's gonna put the flavor right over the top because you know what? For a lot of people, corn on the cob is nothing more than a butter delivery device. And butter is corn's best friend. <laughs> it really is. And so we're gonna let that melt be just the, uh, the final piece, piece de resistance the final piece of the puzzle the final so there it ingredient. is folks. I think it, it's, it looks beautiful so we're gonna come back and taste it or we're gonna taste it we're now gonna taste it right now I don't think the butter's all the way melted oh it's close enough what if I accidentally get that big clump of butter you and then my arteries harden you'll be fine all right okay dr. Kevin you'll have extra glass of wine to thin it out <laughs> yeah I like the okay. French 
Um, so, again, you know, if you want to keep the corn relatively um, firm, you don't want to overcook it. So, did you turn the heat off yet? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So, how's it tasting? You tell me, cameraman. Let the camera have a taste. Wow. Wow. Wow, huh? And you then, know, I like that we put that pepper in it because it complements it really well. You often see, you know, like a Mexicali kind of mm -hmm. corn with peppers in it, but the um, pepper flavor complements the buttery corn really well. Oh, no. And then you, you really want to make it pretty. We've got some fresh Michigan scallions here. And we're going to put that on top. Wow, not just pretty, but that's going to be a little okay. extra oomph in the flavor. So there you go. Pan-fried corn. Cavalcade of food. What a wonderful side dish for the summer. Yep. Thanks for being a part of this one. Enjoy your summer. Eat all that great, good summer produce that's coming in wherever you live. If you're a corn freak like us, you're going to love making this pan-fried corn. And thank you, Mama Cass, for providing music not so corny after all. That's right. We had a lot of fun. Hope you did too. See you next time. Bye.